evening and welcome to KMTV. I'm Andy Richards. Your top stories tonight. Mother speaks out after teenager death. Man arrested after Sheppy stabbing. And Tribute sees 14 inches of hair on the floor. Now, a devastated mother has spoken about the night she dropped her teenage son off at a friend's house, only for him to be brutally stabbed to death just minutes later. 19-year-old Andre Adaremi from Chatham was found with stab wounds on the Monks Hill estate in South Croydon last Tuesday and died later in hospital. In a statement released today, his mother Yemi Hughes said, I never thought this would be the last time that I saw him. I received a call to beg me to come as he was screaming for me. But by the time I arrived, the paramedics were fighting to save his life. I never got to see him alive again to tell him how much I love him. Emergency crews were called after a man was knocked down by a car in Sittingbourne. Police and several ambulances attended the scene near the railway bridge in Merston Road, with the air ambulance landing in Rectory Road playing fields. Police, re uh, police received the call at 11.20. The man had head and lower leg injuries and was taken to Medway Maritime Hospital by road. A man's been charged after a stabbing in Sheerness High Street. Gary Booth was arrested on Sunday in connection with the alleged attack and was today charged with causing grievous bodily harm. The victim was taken to a London hospital when it happened on Thursday. He's in a serious but stable condition. Today marks the 25th anniversary of the public logging on to the World Wide Web. Computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee created the internet in 1991. It's revolutionised the world, but in some so-called broadband black spots in Kent, people still struggle to, to, for access to it. Henry Sandercock has more. We all take a simple Google search for granted. At the click of a mouse, millions of web pages are suddenly at our disposal. According to the ONS, 19.2 million homes are connected to the internet, with 30 million of us logging in every day. The way in which we interact with the internet is in constant flux. In just the last year or so, more of us have been accessing it from our phones than from desktop computers. Kent is one of the worst places for connectivity, with notorious black spots in Farningham, Cranbrook and Barham. In Barham, it was reported earlier this year that download speeds were as slow as 0.13 megabytes per second. That's 50 times slower than the national average. I asked the people of Chatham what they think about Kent's internet. I've done various speed tests during the day. If you do a speed test at about 9 o'clock at night, it's very fast. Whereas if you do it at about 12 o'clock where, you know, midday everybody wants to use the internet, so slow you can't get quite a good clarity on YouTube, which I find is quite appalling. It could definitely be improved. It's quite slow at the moment, but saying that, I've just moved from the Isle of Sheppey to here where the coverage there was virtually non-existent, uh, especially if you was using your phone, you had to go down the bottom of the garden. The internet in Kent, apparently, it's a notoriously bad place to connect to it. What do you think? Personally, I think I never had a problem connecting to the internet in Kent. I live in Strood, so I don't have a problem with it. I don't know about the whole of Kent, but as far as where I live, I'm fine with it. It would seem that two and a half decades on from its inception, the internet has a lot to do to make us all happy surfers. This is Henry Sandercock reporting for Kane TV in Chatham. And finally, a girl's had her hair cut off in memory of tragic Sheppey Crossing crash victim Deborah Roberts. Rose Street primary pupil Caitlin Toomer was friends with her son Marshall, who also died in the accident. The nine-year-old originally came up with the idea in 2013 when Ms Roberts was battling breast cancer. She'd noticed how the mum of three had lost her hair and wanted to give her some of her own. So on Friday, she had 14 inches of her blonde hair cut off in aid of the Little Princess Trust charity. Well done, you. Well, that's all from us this evening. We'll be back again tomorrow with all the latest stories from across your county. In the meantime, don't forget you can always keep up to date by listening to KMFM or logging on to kentonline.co.uk. Have a great evening. Goodbye.